what are we producing? Pretty much just Royal Knights, Archers, Spring Alts, Mangonels, of course. They're doing the bonus damage. Ooh, spring Alts sniping my trebuchets. But we've got our own Spring Alt forward now. So what if we just put the keep down here and then started mining this gold? 200 pop, suddenly you've got an insane economy. Hey everyone, glad you're back. Welcome to the Bob Ross of Age of Empires. We've got some happy little sieves here. I'm playing as the Ottomans, and I've got an ally in this 2v2 by the name of Champion. Champion's playing as the Holy Roman Empire. And we're up against Claims playing as the Holy Roman Empire and Cookstaboon playing as the Mongols. Now I've uh, seen all sorts of announcements about changes that are being tested in the public update preview. And of course I'm eyeing them this whole time. So we're looking forward to some of those changes. But uh, for now, we're going to keep playing Season 4 here. And it looks like Holy Roman Empire spawning on my near side. So, and yep, there's the Mongol opponent spawning near my ally. And ally's doing a good play here. I love the Aachen Chapel here. It's close to the stone, the gold, and the wood line here. And we're seeing some pressure coming from the Mongols, but it's just early horsemen, and now a tower is going down. This outpost is going to be annoying, but I actually rallied one of my spearmen over because, man, really lucky gold spawn for the Holy Roman Empire opponent. I can't really do much with my spearmen, so I'm just going to start rallying them over this way. We're starting to burn down the uh, outpost, but I need to engage with these... Ugh, kind of bugged out there for a second. I need to engage with these early horsemen. This Dark Age Spearman is going to do well against these units. I wanted to target the villager, but I don't think my one Dark Age Spearman is going to be taking out that uh, villager. Ooh, hopefully he can retreat this scout. Yeah, let's pull him back. And I love it. It's a fast age up, putting tons of villagers on wood, and getting down an archer range. This is the right move. Pull the villagers back. Town center gets another uh, early horseman. Looking great. The archery range is going to produce an archer, and the archer is going to prevent this villager from putting down more outposts. This outpost is going to finish. That is for certain. But the idea is that uh, maybe combined with some spearmen or maybe man at arms, although champion's very low on gold, uh, we're going to see. This outpost just swarmed by villagers, infantry, and that one archer is really going to prevent any sort of damage going on here. And I love that uh, I love that the, the uh, sheep have been brought over here. I'd love to see these sheep maybe move down to the town center. The Aachen Chapel is still working 100%. Nothing has gone wrong here for my Holy Roman Empire ally. Really just a delay on gathering this gold, which we were kind of expecting from the get-go. We'll just kind of play some footsie over here dancing back and forth with these spearmen, but they're really not an issue, especially since my ally has the um, emergency repairs ability. So while this, uh, this outpost harassment could have done a lot of damage, my ally is responding appropriately. That's what we like to see. We'd love to see spearmen coming out. We'd love to see the upgrade to hardened, just to give them some hit points here. Let's see what he's gonna do. Okay, yeah, he's getting spearmen out. And he got the blacksmith down. It's a quick blacksmith, maybe hoping to get marching drills. We'll see. Over on my side, I've got the Sultani Trade Network, and I'm starting to trade with this corner trade post. We just get our first Vizier point. Looks like we're going with uh, the Anatolian Hills. Yep, there's our sheep, nice and ready for us to gather. And maybe we can stab down another orderly horseman. Nope, we'll just back off. You can see he's got three archers. Maybe a bit too many archers, but that's all right. He had a lot of wood. And we can actually see in our current resources, yeah, Cookstaboon has not made it to the uh, Feudal Age just yet, but he's gathering up a big bank of wood, likely going to go for a second town center here. And we're seeing horsemen coming out from our Holy Roman Empire opponent. I'd really like to shut down this Aachen Chapel, so I'm hoping, yeah, this outpost can go down, and then maybe we can creep around to the backside and get another outpost down over here. 
Seeing horsemen come out is worrisome because I do have traders out on the map. A little scary. Ah, and here we go. Spearmen coming forward and villagers rushing forward. I love this. They're going to do great work here. Burn down the outpost. And then maybe put on some pressure. Really, once the outpost goes down, he's going to start gathering either gold or stone. Stone will be the slower play. Gold will be the faster play. Let's see what he goes for. Okay, looks like it's stone. Going to go for a second town center. And yep, there's those horsemen I was talking about going after my traders. This is unfortunate. I think they've already made a trip maybe two. But uh, what we could do is we could just... Uh, garrison them in here really wish i had garrisoned them earlier after i noticed the horsemen kind of streaming out this way yeah i was worried about it. oh that was that was kind of a hover horse for a second there fortunately my ally is going forward he wants to see what's going on on this side of the map i've gotten pretty good scouting on this holy roman empire opponent thanks to the outpost oh and i like this spot he gained in on his wood line and it looks like I've set some spearmen on patrol routes for my trade line. And yeah, we're, we're reinforcing our trade line. We, we did lose those two traders, but we're looking for more. We're going to try and get some more out. We'd love my ally to push forward. Keep finding out what's going on back here. In the meantime, we're just going to keep chasing down these horsemen. Horsemen being made by the Holy Roman Empire opponent uh, claims. I'm not too scared of them. I think we're going to get, yep, a barracks down. And we'll probably keep the military school on spearmen training. And yeah, there's those horsemen being really annoying. We gotta keep patrolling Spearman back and forth, especially if this trader is gonna be brave and head out. Uh, he's gonna need some kind of escort. And I should say it's important to build a barracks along with your military schools, because if you're saying to yourself, I need Spearman, I'll just rely on my military school to continue to pump them out. That's fine, but you're never going to be able to give them veterancy. So you've got to at least make a barracks if you're going to be making spearmen. Oof, more traders suffering. But look at this. The silver tree by my Mongolian uh, opponent, Cookstaboon. And there's some traders going down. He was double producing them from the silver tree. And now, yep, my Holy Roman Empire ally, he sees what's going on. He's going to chase after the traders. I love this. This is some great economy denial here. I'm trying to spread my outposts, it's not working, and I'm still losing traders to these horsemen. Ugh, I need these spearmen to start getting to work. Yep, there's another trader going down. That's painful, he's probably going to target fire this one. Oh, there's the three, uh, yeah, three spearmen, that'll do good work escorting these traders. That's what I like to see. They're getting injured. Yeah, he's going to have to back away. And looks like we got the uh, arrow slits emplacement on here. So this stone and this gold are just denied. Though the stone has already been mined, he's got enough for a second town center. I'm hoping that maybe this outpost will spot it. I'm amazed we're getting away with this outpost. It's totally unguarded. Crazy. Archers finding some villagers up here. Half finished outpost really being disruptive here. I love seeing that, and he's focusing the traders down. And he's got his second town center up, too. My ally champion looking good. It's kind of a slow start for a uh, Holy Roman Empire build, but it's working out. I mean, this really would not have been all that amazing if he hadn't gone on the counterattack, but the counterattack was super effective. He was able to leverage his army really well. Love seeing that. And there's the second town center from the uh, Holy Roman Empire opponent. We're going to put the arrow slits enhancement on this. And even if all these berries are gone by the time this is done researching, that's fine. We've effectively neutralized a good chunk of farmland that he wants to use the Aachen Chapel for. There's those horsemen. But yeah, these traders are starting to get a real good escort here. Oh yeah, you do not want to engage here, buddy. Yeah, Claims needs to back away. This is way too many spearmen. And all this duking out that's going on over here, that's fine. I think I think everyone is on two town centers. Yeah, even I went for a second one. I noticed it was all the rage. Figured I'd join the crowd. So who's winning right now? Kind of hard to say. Um, 
We've done some light economic harassment over here with our outposts. All we've really done is deny certain resources from being gathered. Uh, our Mongolian opponent has been doing a little bit of trading, but only with this near market. Not very effective. Um, but is on two town centers. We saw that wood being gathered. Or at least should be on two town centers. Yeah, we're just getting a little bit of economic damage. So really, uh, the claims is just slightly slowed. Really, claims and my ally champion. Both Holy Roman Empire, both going a similar build. But one has suffered basically no harassment. There was that real small outpost creep that happened here early on, but I don't really think it set my ally behind all that much, especially considering the military units that he produced to destroy that um, destroy that outpost. They went on to get good kills over here, killing off traders. So I really think um, the big winner here is Champion. Champion's on two town centers, plenty of farms, looking good. Me, kind of a mixed result, lost a lot of traders to those horsemen over here, spent a lot of resources and time getting these outposts up to kind of contain this Holy Roman Empire opponent. And I was the last one to get a second town center, I believe, so I think I'm behind a little bit, but really it's just Champion is going to pull away. And yeah, I love the military production coming out. He's not just skipping straight, straight to the... Uh, castle age he's actually producing units although whoa that's a lot of gold a little too heavy on the gold mining let's maybe slow that down a bit production's looking good love seeing them all clustered around the blacksmith would like to see more military schools i'm sure we can get another one yeah we can actually have two more military schools so hopefully we have someone yep and right as i say it let's keep mining stone would love to get a trickle coming in I love the two town centers. Let's keep them producing. I want to see villagers in that queue nonstop. Love the wall that's going up. Remember, we've got a Mongolian opponent. Always good to make walls. Would love to see maybe a wall uh, spanning here. And I'd love to see a wall spanning here from my ally, but it's okay if he's not going to put one down. Maybe I can get one up eventually. As for blacksmith upgrades, looks like we got a few. We're starting to get up to 1 1 upgrades. Economic, we pretty much just got the lumber chopping. That's about it. I don't really see anything else. We're trying to make some plays over here. It's always good to wrap around your opponents. Try to try to encircle them here on hideout. That's an important move because you can start to contain them. And yeah, we're, we're keeping our trade line alive. And more importantly, we've gotten this market down in the corner. I'm hoping that now that I've got that market down, I will very shortly set my traders i already did it wow there it is and you can do it mid trip so these traders were bringing in about 50 gold now instead they're bringing 178 to this distant market that's great hopefully we can get the uh trade bags a 40 percent increase on 178 that's gonna be really good and what an army coming from champion Let's look for Castle Ages. It looks like the Regnitz Cathedral is up. How am I doing? I just need a little bit more gold. And yeah, it looks like I'm going to aggressively gather it. Uh, Cookstaboon just needs a little more food. And Claims needs to find a gold. Um, needs to either clear out this outpost and get on this gold. Or walk past it and go for this large gold back here. Oh, big battle over here. We've got Mongolian archers and spearmen up against HRE archers and and uh, spearmen, although there are man-at-arms in the mix here. These man-at-arms are going to be the last ones alive, I guarantee you. Yeah, look at that. Thinning out. Yeah, these, these man-at-arms, they have so much armor and good upgrades too. Wow, look at that. Champion's already gotten all the 1-1 upgrades. Looks like it's just those archers left over. Oh, and wow, he's going for the gold up here. Love seeing how aggressive champions gain with the gold gathering, though he really doesn't even need it. Unless he's going to start uh, producing a bunch of knights. 
I assume he's just gonna be making man at arms. Oh, okay, he's gonna queue up lands connects. Those are those are very gold intensive units. Not a bad choice. Though they can be very unwieldy since they they have such little armor. And look what we're finding back here. Yep, more trade. If my ally had sh had temporarily shut down the trade, looks like it's back in business. Yeah, here comes some more. And these traders are bringing 175 gold and a little bit of wood and food. We gotta put a stop to this, and I'm glad I brought the spearmen along. Love the mater here, that's gonna give them increased attack speed. Yeah, let's try and stab down one of these traders. No, oh, can we get him? Yeah, we did, nice. Kind of a glitched out there, but we got him. And we can start attacking this outpost, but yeah, here come the horsemen. So they're protecting the trade lines, and look at this. Hardened spearmen, man-at-arms coming forward. Very scary. But we did correctly identify the matchup. We're making lots of archery ranges. Looks like we're up to three. And we're going to switch our military schools, yep, over to crossbowmen. And look at that. We're even getting down two more archery ranges. Go we'll back villagers away. We can give up this mill. That's totally fine. I mean, these spearmen can engage, I guess, but really we're just waiting on a mass of crossbowmen to finally assemble. And look at that. Looks like we picked up our imams. And we're sending them out to grab these relics. I think that may be why we saw claims come forward. He's wanting to age up and then go for these relics, although he is still really behind on gold. Hopefully he's aging up right now. Yep, there we go. Claims is up. We're going to back these villagers away from the berries. Oh, run them, Mom. You do not want to get involved there. And yeah, we're going to engage here. We've got the crossbowmen. We've got a mater in the mix. Yeah, these units do not want to fight. And look at what my ally's finding here. Whoa, look at all these villagers. Get on them. Wow. Look at the maces go to work on these villagers. Oh. Dunzo. And if these units just sit here, that'd be perfect. Traders are just going to walk right along here and just get eaten up. Look at that. Oh, more villagers just running around. These archers are not enough to take on all these man-at-arms. Yeah, they're going to engage. If they can take out that crossbowman, that'd be great. Oh, more villagers just... Oh, they should not be out here on the battlefield. And the traders, too. The man-at-arms don't even care about the archers. They're just tickling them. With their whopping five ranged armor. Yeah, these archers are only doing one damage per shot. And of course, we've cleaned up against the Holy Roman Empire units that were sent down here. Because we had the right unit composition. Just a few crossbowmen did really good work there. The lack of crossbowmen are, is really hurting our, uh, our Mongol opponent, Cookstaboon. And it looks like he just doesn't have the archery... Uh, the archery range is to... Oh, look at that. He's got seven crossbowmen queued up at the archery range. He had the resources. He knew what unit he needed to get, but he just didn't have the production. Yeah, there's two more archery ranges up here, but he needs more. I'm at five archery ranges and two, uh, two military schools set to Janissaries. Nice. We're producing so many ranged units. Look how fast it's becoming a, a crucial part of our army composition crossbowman janissaries looking great and look at that imperial age up for my ally champion everything's going his way this match we're making a few gains over here mostly just squabbling with some of the units from uh from claims but i think the real story's over here champion has gotten so much momentum i mean he's just pulling away look at the income really looking good though i'll say i'm very happy with the trading that i've got going on 178 really wish we would get the uh the trade bags glad we got the advanced academy that's all right looks like i'm gonna lose villagers over here but not awful our gold income is doing great we've probably got plenty in the bank yeah we've got a thousand Really, it's Claims who's floating a ton of resources. He needs more production, or he just needs to get units out. And look at Champion. Look at these units coming in. Oh, such great upgrades. Plus three melee attack. Unless there's a huge ball of crossbowmen. And there's a decent mass here, but 
the mangonels are always going to chase them away. There's just no horsemen or, or cavalry that are just going to run in and destroy these mangonels. And I don't see any springalds anywhere. I think Cookstaboon is done. Just happened to be across from Champion and is just getting smushed. And of course, we're coming forward. Look at all of our units. Looking great. Upgraded spearmen. We've got Janissaries in the mix. Yeah, they're going to be doing good damage. They're dealing 16. The crossbowmen, if they're hitting range or heavy units, are doing about 22. Yeah, look at that. That's what we want to see. Yeah, the, the man-at-arms, they just are not the tanky, amazing units that uh, Claims is hoping they will be. And over here, it's just a villager slaughter. I think that's it. That's got to be GG. Heck, we're heading over to the trade line. We're going to shut that down. It was a good game. Hideout providing us another great example of why it's important to kind of choke your opponent out or kind of contain them to their base. Uh, also a great demonstration of how strong trade is on this map. Um, we saw both players, uh, one on me on our side, Cookstaboon on the other going for a trade strategy, but uh, yeah, I think my ally champion just did not get hamstrung, just had a smooth transition all the way up to the Imperial Age. Just a great gameplay from him. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the uh, replay, and I'll catch you for the next one. See you then.